Saudi Arabia have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. And that gets things running. Tries to get it forward quickly. That'll be a throw-in. Rincon. Hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Here's the delivery. Did he that because it had a decent chance of progressing. Battles to win it back. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Gets the better of his man. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. been a rather gentle affair so far. He's had a shot! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. And it's played forward. The clearance and very necessary. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. He gets past his man. Shot a goal! A real chance and a real let-off. Venezuela know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He's gone for the shots. Oh, that is special! A finish right from the top draw. And Saudi Arabia take the lead. Oh, that is a bit special. <laughs> Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on.
A chance to play it in. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Now the counter. Lovely bit of skill there. There are a few waiting for it. Aimed in towards the centre. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Rincon. That's a pop! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Venezuela really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Saudi Arabia are in control here on the brink of half-time. Up towards the front line. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Saudi Arabia have a free kick. Shoots! Sticks it away! And there's the goal they've been looking for. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's come loose. Oh, real danger here. Plenty waiting in the middle. Shapes to shoot! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here? Saudi Arabia go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Already up and running for the second half. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Great leap! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Gets it back. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that. Again. Has a hit! He has done it! The second half sparked straight into life. Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum.
This is threatening to become a really good game. Our scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Defending of the desperate variety. In with the challenge. Ball through needs to be good here. <laughs> Goes for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? That's really good energy being shown by some of those forwards out there, keeping that defence honest. Absolutely. They need to persist, it's exactly what they have to keep doing. Lovely feet. That's a good foot in there. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. And it's Rincon. Well, that goal really has stirred things up. The cat right amongst the pigeons now. Yeah, Peter, the, the cushion is gone, and it may get a little bumpier over the next few minutes, but it doesn't have to mean a momentum switch. If they can gather themselves quickly, they could hit back. Goes for goal! Venezuela showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Plays it out to the flank. Oh, that's nice. Should have equalised. That was extremely good focus from the keeper, and it could turn out to be quite a significant moment. Going for goal! Cost them. I can't hide away from how important that was. And it's got through. Saudi Arabia are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick.
He can get that clear. And a play for a throw. Rincon. Saudi Arabia, he'll hit it! <laughs> and he just whacks it away. Has got rid of that. They are right into last chance territory. Plays it out to the wing. Leave it clear. They've played it short. Turns and goes back. It's come through. And it's Rincon. Now, can he capitalize? Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Saudi Arabia have held on a knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim?